Today I am going to present a question related to the electronic configuration according to S, P, D and F subcells. Look at this question. If you have given the electronic configuration like this and you are told to identify which element it is, to which group of the periodic table it belongs and to which period it belongs to and to which block of the periodic table it belongs. In the same way, what is its valency and whether it is metal or non-metal. These are the questions. We have electronic configuration and these questions are given. With the help of this electronic configuration, how can we identify all these things? The number in the superscript, we have to count them. 2 plus 2, 4 plus 6, 10 plus 2, 12 plus 5, 17. In each of the atom of this element, there are 17 electrons. And number of electrons present in one atom of an element represents its atomic number. Its atomic number is 17. And if its atomic number is 17, then we can declare that this is chlorine. Because we have to remember from hydrogen to 20 elements in the increasing order of their atomic number hydrogen helium lithium beryllium boron carbon this way we have to remember up to 20 and it comes uh, in 17 and that's why this is chlorine now how can we de declare group of this element we have to uh, identify with the help of this electronic configuration if you are asked to write with reason then you have to say the reason also with the help of this electronic configuration look at this its outermost orbit is third orbit or third cell this one represents first cell this two represents second cell and this three represents third cell third cell contains five plus two total seven electrons and if the inner cells of an element is filled with the electron just like first orbit or first cell is filled with two electrons it cannot hold more than two and second cell uh, is filled with six plus two eight electrons it cannot hold more than eight and inner cells are filled with electrons only third cell that is outer cell contains seven electron it means valence electron is seven if valence electron is seven then it belongs to seven a if it had one electron in the outermost cell it belongs to one a 2 electrons in the outermost cell 2a, 3 electrons 3a, 4 electrons 4a, this way it contains 7 electrons in the outermost cell, that's why 7a. If it was 8, then it belongs to 0 group element. This way we can declare that this element belongs to group 7a. Okay, let's find out period of this element. To find out the period, we have to count the number of cell present in its atom. This, it has total 3 cells. Because one here, two written two in two places, three written in two places. It means altogether it has just three cells or three orbits. And number of orbits represent the period of that element. It falls in third period of the periodic table. Now let's go to the block. In which block it falls? Now for this we have to follow above principle. Uh, this is the order of the filling up of electron according to Aufbau principle in different soft cells. Now, looking at this 17 electrons, first we have to fill the electron in first cell S soft cell. Uh, we can fill two only because S soft cell can hold only two. Now it's turn of second cell S soft cell and second cell S soft cell can hold only two. That's why I'm writing here two electrons in S subcell. Now it's turn of second cell P subcell. P can hold six electrons. That's why we have to put six electrons here. It is according to the given question also we can see but it will better to have clear idea. After 2P we have to go to 3S. S subcell can hold only two electrons. And how many are left? Two plus two. 4 plus 6, 10 plus 2, 12, 5 are left. Now it's torn off after 3 years. It's torn off what? 3P. And P can hold 6 electrons. That's why 
this 3p can hold 5 electrons contained in this chlorine. This way, uh, the last electron entered into p sub cell of the outermost cell. If last electron of an element enters into p sub cell of its outermost cell of the atom, then it belongs to p block element. This way, we can declare them. Now, what is the valency of this element? The outermost cell contains seven electrons. So, when it takes part in the chemical reaction, either it has to donate these seven, seven electrons to other, or it has to gain one electron from other to form octet. And donation of seven electron is not possible. So, it gains one electron in the chemical reaction. The number of electrons which an atom of an element gains or loses or share in the chemical reaction represents its valency. That's why its valency is 1. Now, only one question is left, whether it is metal or non-metal. If an element reacts by donating electron to other, then that is metal. And if uh, an element reacts by gaining electron from other, then that is non-metal. Since it reacts by gaining one electron from other, that's why this is a non-metal. This way, we can answer different questions related to the electronic configuration according to SPDF rule.